John Hope Bryant, founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of Operation Hope, Bryant Group Ventures, and the Promise Homes Company. I'm an entrepreneur. The top three takeaways from my talk. Don't get half pregnant. If you're gonna do something innovative and unique and special and new, you need to have both feet in it. You need to be passionate about it. Don't be half measured, don't be half talking, don't come, to the, to, don't come half prepared. You have got to be passionate and purposeful about what you do and you've got to look at it through the lens of literally changing the world or why show up at all. Number two, understand we've been here before. That the lens of life is typically a historical lens and if you don't pay attention to that history, we're doomed to repeat it. Number three, reimagine and reinvent everything. You gotta be a little crazy to change the world. If you're not a little crazy, then life gets a little boring anyway. But what would happen if you knew you couldn't fail? What would happen if you knew there's nothing that you could not do? My God, you could probably do anything. And that's my message for Money 2020. What would your life be like if it wasn't just about making a mortgage payment or a car note or buying a fancy car, going on a fancy vacation, but literally you're using this vehicle of Money 2020 not to make money, but to build wealth, to change the world, to leave a legacy so the world knew you were here. That's why I showed up. What does an economy look like that works for all? Well, look, let's, let's look at that. Every big company was once a small one. Let's look at that. The largest economy in the world is the U.S. economy. But 70% of the U.S. economy is driven by consumer spending. 64% of Americans don't have $500 in times of a disaster. This is a problem for everybody. 130 million Americans are financially bruised. So what does that look like uh, for an economy that's dependent upon people who never got the memo on free enterprise, capitalism, economics, and opportunity? It's what they don't know that they don't know that's killing them, but they think they know. We need to make financial literacy the new civil rights issue for an entire generation. K through college, everybody needs to get a lesson on financial literacy and uplift so they can do for themselves. And by the way, when that happens, everybody wins. What would happen if 100 million Americans were rehabilitated and brought back into the free enterprise system? New homeowners, new entrepreneurs, new small business owners, new strivers, new taxpayers, new voters. Boom, the whole world just changes for the better. What can organizations like Money 2020 do to be catalytic in changing the world. Well, we just said it, be catalytic, be a convener. Don't just hold a conference that's profitable and efficient and intelligent and thoughtful. Challenge yourselves to lean in and have parallel meetings and sidebar meetings with public officials and legislators and innovators and community groups and social entrepreneurs. Uh, figure out a way to do well and do good. Launch commitment making so that people can leave here saying, I'm gonna do something to make the world a better place. Measure it and report on it every year. Make yourself different by producing a outcome and a result.